Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rekha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, and peace and blessings unto the elect. Okay, I have a video or a lesson that I want to get into, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this video that I that I pulled up. It's on uh, Maccabees TV. This particular video that I'm going to play was published on May, May the 2027. And I'm going to interject throughout the video with, uh, with scriptures, with some scriptures. And uh, I don't know the particular order I'm going to bring these scriptures out. But uh, I'm going to try my best through the spirit to bring the scriptures out uh, accordingly as I play this play this uh, this video. And I'm going to build upon the lesson based upon what this uh, this video is going into. This is the uh, the uh, the lions of Israel. So I guess they uh, L L O I L O I. OK. And uh Lord willing, this is, this is edifying, but uh, I, I've stumbled upon this video as I was watching the, uh, I was watching that, uh, was it was Sarnetta TV awards and watching how the different Israelite groups was, uh, getting awards. I believe ISUPK, they got, they got a particular award and, uh, that guy Divine Prospect, he got a award and. I didn't. I just watched some of it, and you know that's all madness, man. We're not supposed to be. Uh, uh, that's not our job, man. We're not supposed to be indulging in a, in an award ceremony. That shit is of the world, you know. But that's something else, you know. I'm not gonna go all into that. But based upon watching that, I had stumbled upon this video. Um, on the Maccabees TV, and uh, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this video and uh, build upon what's being said, or yeah, build build a lesson based upon what's being said in this video by these guys uh, or this the Israelite group, the Lions of uh, the Lions of Israel. Okay, so the word going out and and then they out there teaching, so that's a good thing. You know, even though I know they go off uh they do go off on the doctrine on different points, critical points, uh they still out there teaching the word. Telling the people that they're the Israelites to keep the law, statutes, and the, and the commandments. So that's a that's a good thing, you know, that the word is uh, going out, and that the so-called white man Esau is seeing uh, the Israelites wake up to the fact that they're that they're Hebrew Israelites. Okay. See, we have like a little table out here today. We have a table with some fruits, some water, some sandwiches, um, some insure inside the cooler that we brought out here for the people. So the spirit rested on Captain Tahun to do this to give out to the homeless. Also, sodas as well. So go ahead, Captain Tahun, talk about it. Okay, so now that's, like I said, um, I'm pretty sure these guys go off on uh parts of the doctrine critical parts of the doctrine uh, when they when they go into teaching when they go out on the streets and teach uh when they go out on the streets and teach and if they put up lessons like I said I don't really get into uh Maccabees TV or I hadn't really watched the Lions of Israel okay but I stumbled upon this video and I made I had said that that is a good thing that they out there uh, telling the people that they the, the Israelites, you know, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Native Americans that the Israelites. But when we go out and teach this word, uh, we're not supposed to go out there and feed the people 
uh um with with physical food, man. That's not what our Lord Yahweh Shai told us to do, man. Okay? So when you when you go out there and you uh you got food set up for the people and you teaching at the same time, the most the people that that uh most of the people that come up, they gonna come up there for that food to get to get a, a sandwich of fruit or, or something to drink, you know? They not gonna be concerned. They might act like they really listening because they came up there and got some uh some food. Okay. Uh but they whole thing about being up there is gonna be because of that that food. You know? Now if I'm gonna go into uh a scripture real quick before I continue or play play this video again. If you read uh let me see. Okay, John, if you read and and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just paraphrase this scripture. I'm not gonna go through the whole account because it's a it's a pretty uh long reading before you get to the it's a pretty long reading, so I'm gonna just paraphrase uh Saint John the sixth chapter verse five through twenty six. And that's the account where you read about the the great multitude that was following Yahweh as he was uh teaching. And they followed him for three days, okay? And uh, Yahweh Shai had compassion on the people because they followed him for three days, uh, and he and he and he had compassion by feeding the people. He fed them with five loaves of uh, five barley loaves and two fishes, okay? And when you get all the way to the twenty-sixth verse in Saint John the sixth chapter, it tell you that the people. They didn't follow him because of the miracles that he was performing and the, the word that he was teaching. They followed him for, uh, be, for the bread. You know, they followed him because he had fed the people. Okay? So they would follow him to, to get some food. Okay? That's the, uh, it, it tells you that. You know, so you can't use that. And I'm not saying that this, they didn't use this scripture. I'm just bringing it out to, you know, show you in the scriptures if anybody wants wanted to use this scripture to say that Yahweh Shai fed the people. St. John, the sixth chapter, starting around the, the fifth verse. You know, I go all the way to the 26th verse. It tell you what that was all about. The people were following him because he he fed the people. OK, they they followed him for the for the because he fed them. OK. And he had compassion on the people because they followed him for three days. Okay. And, 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 you know, it's okay to, to, if you see a Jake out there that's homeless or, you know, poor and, uh, you decide to give them some money or some food, you know, it, it ain't nothing wrong with that because they are Israelites, you know, they are, they are Israelites. It'll be a good idea to, you know, preferably give them food, some food or go buy them something to eat. You know, if it's on your if it's on your spirit, man, versus, you know, you you give them some money and they go buy some drugs with it or something, you know. Or if they want to buy them a beer, some alcohol or something, you know, they catching hell in this kingdom. They down and out, you know, shit, let them go, you know, give them a couple dollars or something go let them buy, buy a beer but you don't want to give them no money so they can go purchase some uh some some drugs or whatever but you know back to uh this video our job when we out there teaching is only to teach the word man it's not to to uh it's not to uh feed the people okay it's not to feed the people uh, with with sandwiches and fruits or or whatever the the or whatever the type of food may be, and as you've seen, they went through this food. Um, sandwiches, man, this bread ain't really no good for the people. Not trying to be over righteous or nitpick with these guys, but if you really want to, you know, the fruit is okay, you know, even though that probably is GMO fruit, but um. This bread is is uh 
is not good for the body, man. Not this bread. That's not the same barley loaves that Yahweh Shai, same five barley loaves that Yahweh Shai fed that great multitude with. I believe the scripture says it was, it was about 5,000 of that great multitude. Okay? That's not the same bread that we got today. Okay? So that's that's not good. And you see that the uh, the older guy or the older the brother on the end, he uh he held up a Fanta soda, man. That's garbage, man. That ain't nothing you want to come out there and give the people bread. The, today's bread and some and some and some soda water is not what you want to give the people, man. Okay, we out there to teach this word to to feed to feed the uh the hope the feed the elect, man. Okay. The sentiment of these other camps is to uh to bring in the masses of Israel. And by feeding them with with this type of bread, the bread that perish it, you're gonna bring in a bunch of niggas, man. They do the same thing over there at ISUPK. Alright, so let me uh let me play some more of this clip. Like, uh, I came, we was teaching out here, and I saw a lot of my people, man, they, they walking by, and they, they were hungry and everything, and I'm like, you know, the scriptures talk about us having, uh, being... Okay, if the people that walk by, they are hungry, the ones that, that walk by and that are hungry, speaking on the, in a spiritual sense, are going to be the men of the hopeful elect that hear this word, and they hungry for the spiritual food, this wisdom, knowledge, and this understanding. According to the scriptures, uh, Yahawashai said that these scriptures, or he called himself, which Yahawashai represents these scriptures, he called him uh, himself uh, bread. Okay, also water, honey. These are uh, things that uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai used in the scriptures, foods, um, and then water that's used to, to symbolize what the word represents, spiritual food and, and spiritual water, okay? And the people that walk by and that are hungry on a, on a physical level that, that's hungry, they're going to stop just to get the food. They're not going to stop for the word. They're going to stop to get something to eat, and then they're going to go about their wicked way. A lot of them homeless people, because when we go out and teach, it's a lot of homeless people we see every week. And a lot of them are strung out on uh, drugs too, man. They, they scrape up a little pennies, and they probably go get them a little something to eat so they can stay, you know, walking around. A lot of them is on drugs, man. Play some more of this video. Charity, that charity covers a multitude of our sins. So I was like, you know, we got to start coming out here as Israelites, right? Because we have... Right. That charity that's supposed to be displayed is amongst the believers, man. That ain't talking about just going out to all of Israel and um, being charitable to the to the all Israel. Two-thirds of our people here in America are wicked, man. Okay? They're wicked, they wicked as hell. So when you read scriptures like, um, for example, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1, and Paul, matter of fact, I'll get it real quick. <clears throat> it's 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1. This is Paul speaking. Actually, I'm going to read, yeah, I'll read verse 1 and 2. It says, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could move mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. So we are supposed to be charitable, but that being that a spirit of being charitable is supposed to be displayed amongst the believers, man. Amongst um, amongst the ones that believe 
and Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, uh, that that teach the same doctrine, that that uh, come together on one accord. Okay, you read about that in First Corinthians, the tenth chapter. Okay, ten and uh, I believe, or the one and ten. First Corinthians one and ten. Right, First Corinthians, uh, Salakia, chapter one, verse ten. You read about that, okay? That we supposed to all, we post, there's supposed to be no division amongst the the true believers. That's on the correct doctrine, and we supposed to uh, be joined to perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgments. I'm roughly paraphrasing First Corinthians, one and uh one and ten. So back to some more of this uh clip. Yeah, we we come out here and show our people that we feed them through the through the spirit, man. Look, man, we not out here to do our own thing, man. The scriptures talk about being self willed. The scriptures don't tell us to come out here and go out on the highways and byways and, and set up uh, uh, food for the people or set up a soup kitchen. Okay. Yahweh Shai said, go there, go ye into the highways and, and, and byways and bid them or in other words, call them unto the marriage or unto the supper and eat this spiritual food, man. Call them to be joined unto Yahweh Shai, which is the spiritual food that that bring that can bring forth uh uh that bringeth forth everlasting life. You know, that 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 you can eat upon Yahweh Shai, that spiritual bread, that spiritual food that give it everlasting life versus this defiled bread that perishes, man. Okay? I want to bring out a, a, a scripture real quick, and I'll let this I'll, I'll let this video play out. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit these scriptures because I don't want to make this video too long. So this is uh, Saint John, Saint John, twenty one, and I'm gonna start at the fifteenth verse. Now this is some of the last words that Yahweh left with Peter. Okay. And you'd think if it was very important that uh, to Yahweh Shai that he wanted the people to be fed with actual food, some of his last words would have been just that: to go out and feed these people with with sandwiches and fruits and or any type of food, you know, for that matter. So this is Saint John twenty one. I'm gonna start at the fifteen verse, and it reads: So when they had dined, Yahweh Shai said unto to uh, Simon Peter, so they were actually eating at this point, because it says as they had dined, talking about Yahweh Shai and the and the apostles. Okay, it says Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lamb. So he was Yahweh Shai was saying, If you love me, the most. Then feed my lambs. And he wasn't talking about feeding them with, with actual uh, lambs. He was talking about feeding them uh, uh, this troop. Okay? And it, it reads on it. it, read it uh, in the 16th verse, it says, He said unto him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. Then this, uh, the 17th verse. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh said unto him, feed my sheep. Okay, and he was not talking about feeding them with actual food. He was talking about feeding the, 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 the sheep of Israel, 
the lost sheep of Israel with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, man. Okay? I'm gonna let this let this uh video play on. So it doesn't take much to come out here. You know, it doesn't take much, brother. You know what I'm saying? You are a congregation, each brother chipping five dollars. Go up there, you make some sandwiches, you know what I'm saying? You make some sandwiches, you buy some fruit, you buy some water, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and come out here to, you know, feed the people. So what I'm saying is like we, we all have to start doing that. Like we had a lesson last night that uh, our captain No. We are, we well you guys can do that, you know. But Yahweh uh, uh told Peter to set up, starting with uh, Peter being the head, to set up this uh, ministry and show an example of what's to be done. And the one that's going to be taken care of and focused upon as far as you helping out with food and uh, money are the ones that believe in this truth, man. Okay? We not to go out there and start uh, uh, setting up soup kitchens and feeding uh anybody that uh, of of israel that that's poor or homeless feeding them with food man gun he, he put out there when you have a talent you know what i'm saying the most i want you to use that talent to further the truth you understand so sometimes the talent is just being charitable sometimes you have that that talent within your spirit you understand Hey, and that is the sometimes the talent, the talent, the talent that you read about in uh Matthew, and I'm gonna I'm gonna roughly paraphrase this. I'm not gonna go through the whole parable, but if you go to Matthew the 25th chapter, the the starting around the, the 14th verse, and you read on down. Let me see. You read down to the. Uh, give me one second. Okay, you read to the 30th verse. Okay, so you start at the 14th verse and you read on down to the end of the parable. It ends at the 30th verse. When you read about the talents, it's talking about uh, money. Okay, and in particular, it's, it's talking about on a spiritual, on a spiritual note, it's talking about the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, man. That's the money. That's the 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 a talent is a a, a weight of uh, silver or gold. Okay, so it's a it's a it's a weight amount, and you can you know go into that, but I'm not gonna go into it. But a talent is a, a weight amount of uh, silver or gold, some type of uh, mo real money. Okay, and the parable is talking about different men. Or uh, the men in this truth are gonna get a different portion of that uh, weight of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, or a different portion. Uh, I'm sorry, or different amounts of this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Like he said, to further this truth, but it's not talking about physical uh, uh, talents that we're gonna have, like a particular set of skills that you're gonna possess uh like singing dancing or, or on a spiritual note giving out well i ain't gonna say on a spiritual note or giving out food or something like that you know them talents is talking about your your uh the amount of wisdom knowledge and understanding you have in these scriptures to go out and and trade meaning and when you look that word trade up in uh in matthew 25 uh, 14, well, I think it's in the 16th verse, it, it, it goes into work, to labor, okay? To labor with that money, to make, uh, to make gain, okay? To increase the, uh, the profit, you know? To increase with the, the amount of money you were given by, uh, trading this wisdom knowledge, uh, this wisdom knowledge and understanding to bring more men into the fold, men that are of the hope for elect, okay? So it's not talking about what this guy is talking about. 
as far as bringing uh using the talents to uh is concerning giving out food handing out food that's not what that's talking about in the, in the scriptures man now if you being charitable and we supposed to you know have the spirit of charity you know that's very important but that's amongst the 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 believers man the ones that believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, okay? That's that's not also a talent. The talents is talking about teaching, uh, using the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of this word uh, to teach. Using what you got, the portion of wisdom and knowledge and understanding that you have to and teach that. Okay, that that wisdom may fall upon a member of the hopeful elect to bring them into the fold. Now increases happen. Increase with that uh, with that uh, talent. I had to come out here and do it. So I take I, I take my own thing because the scriptures also talk about give your first heart to the most high. Give the first the first fruits. We in the we in actually this is the actual day that we have on the earth. Calendar is the first fruits. So my first fruits has always been go to the most high. So I take a portion of my my salary and some other brothers take a portion of their salary and we go out there. And and this guy looks sincere, you know. I don't know him. I, I don't I hadn't really heard uh them teach much, but the guy got a sincere look on his face, but he's sincerely wrong, you know. He's sincerely wrong and and the spirit that he coming in. We gotta get out here, man. We need to build schools. We need to build um, shelters. We need nah. to do all of that. This this truth, we supposed to go out and teach this truth, man. That's what we supposed to be doing. We supposed to learn this word from men that came into the labor before us and, and get built up to where we can teach this word and go out and teach that we may teach others that they can come in to this thing and become fellow laborers and, and possess this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding so that they can go out and uh, teach. That's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be building up a spiritual house. We are them, them lively stones coming together with this knowledge, building up a, a, a school. We're building schools through the spirit. We're building shelters through the spirit, man, we're building up a spiritual house that you can come, that you can come into, and and, and get rest, man. Through the get rest through the spirit, knowing that we have a kingdom coming, and you understand, and getting the understanding of these scriptures, knowing that we're not gonna be in in, in hell forever, in these terrible conditions, and you know, in slavery up under this so-called white man Esau, man. That's what we're supposed to be doing, man. This thing is for the elect. This is not for all Israel. This truth is not for all of the nation of Israel. If you want to help out somebody that's homeless out there, that's, that's okay, you know? You do that accordingly through, through the Spirit because they are Israelites. But our focus is not to be out here helping the homeless and uh, uh, feeding, feeding the poor, man. Feeding the homeless. Uh, if you read First Samuel two and seven, it tell you that the Most High make it poor and He make it rich. Okay. So the people in the world that of that of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that are poor, the Most High got you in that condition. The ones of you that are rich, the Most High put you in that position. Okay. And uh, I got one more scripture. I got one more scripture. I'm gonna leave, bef uh, I'm gonna leave off with before I uh, close this video out, just to uh, further push the 
the the the point that we are not that we our job is not to go out there and, and, and feed the people with food okay we're supposed to feed them with the spiritual food in hope of bringing in the uh the hopeful elect or the elect and the ones that come in are going to be the hopeful elect okay because we don't know who who the elect is you know but we got a, a good idea the ones that 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 come in upon uh this this the correct doctrine and believe in your how by Shemi Awashai and, and do this work and truth and sincerity, they are of the uh, hopeful elect. So I'm going to go to the book of Acts, chapter 4. I'm going to read and I'm going to speak on this for a second. Then, Lord willing, I'm going to close this lesson out. So this is Acts. Acts, chapter 4. And I'm going to start at verse uh, 32. So this Acts 4 and 32, and it reads, And the multitude of them that believe were of one heart and of one soul. Okay, I tell you, if you read earlier in this uh, book, the book of Acts, I believe it's in chapter, uh, it's either in chapter 2 or it's in chapter 3, or it may be in chapter uh, 4. For the sake of time, I'm not going to uh, pull it. But if you read in uh, Acts, chapter, it's either chapter 2, 3, or it's in chapter 4, that uh, 3,000 souls were uh, converted and in, in, uh, in, uh, added to the ministry, okay, in one day, okay? You can go back and read the read the account, but 3,000 souls were added on to the to ministry in, uh, in, in one day. Okay, and uh, the so it was a great multitude that that believe. Okay, so three thousand plus the 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 uh, the ones that already believe. You know it says, and the multitude of them that believe were of of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that aught of the things which he possessed was his own, but they had all things coming verse 33 and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of Yahweh Shai of the Lord Yahweh Shai and great grace was upon them all neither was there any among them that lacked for among I'm sorry for as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the prices of the things that were sold and laid them down at the apostles feet and dis and distribution was made unto every man according as he had need and i'm uh um, and i'm gonna stop right well i will go ahead and read through the rest of this chapter it says and joseph's who by the apostles was surnamed barnabas which is being interpreted the son of consolation, a Levite and of the country of uh, Cyprus, having land sold it and brought the money and laid it at the, and laid it at the apostles feet. So you read this, this is talking about uh, the people that believed it, the multitude that believed in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It, the ones of them that lacked amongst the ones that, that lacked amongst them, they didn't lack, because they all came to the uh, the ones that had land, they sold their land, um, so that everybody can be taken care of according to what they needed. In uh, the one, uh, according to what they needed, so that they could, uh, because they believed in Yahweh Shai and they were a part of the the ministry. Okay, they did something to contribute. To uh further the, the gospel, to further this truth going out. Okay? And the reason I brought that out is because those are the ones that if anybody lack, uh, and we you supposed to take care of them, it's supposed to be the ones that believe, that are of one mind and that are of one soul, as as we read here in, in that I read here in the in the scripture. Okay? 
the main focus on taking care of the the ones that are that are without that need help or the ones that believe man and like i said earlier if you want to help somebody uh um you know that's not a believer but nonetheless they are israelite then you know you go ahead and, and you help them out you know what i'm saying but that's not supposed to be your focus the focus is on the believers man is on the elect to feed the elect to help out the elect that's in need to be charitable charitable upon the people that believe in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and truth and in sincerity, man. That's where your focus is supposed to be, and that's what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, so with that, I'm going to close this video out. And I didn't intend to make this video this, this long, but, you know, it came out this way through the Spirit. So with that, I hope this, this lesson was edifying. Once again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Bashem Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth, and uh, peace and blessings unto the elect. A shout of one.